Hey guys and welcome to Pro Wrestling Unlimited. 2K dropped the bomb this morning as we got a lot of information on Universe Mode. Now before I get into what we have in Universe Mode, I want to talk about something they said they would have liked to add to Universe Mode that they couldn't because of the timing. We all know WWE is doing a brand split, which means they held a draft. They said when they first heard about WWE doing the draft, they would have loved to add a draft feature to Universe Mode, but because of the timing and when WWE was first talking about it, when they heard about it, it just, there just wasn't enough time for them to add this feature in, so it makes me think, 2K18, we may get a draft feature in Universe Mode. Now let's talk about what we do got in 2K17's Universe Mode. First up, we now have an option of running multiple universes at the same time. You will have three save slots if you want to be running, say, one universe's current, second universe's all legends, and your third universe all created superstars. Next up, all the menus in universe mode have been redesigned, and they got that sleek, simple design that we've seen in the rest of the game. The graphics for the menus are made to resemble the actual WWE graphics more than they have in the past. When you start up your shows, you'll see now the opening video for that show. The pyro will say where your show is taking place and then Michael Cole will introduce you to that week's show. And they said that won't just be for WWE shows, but also your custom shows as well. One big change they have mentioned is that the order you have to do the matches in Universe, they have to be in order pretty much. You can't just say, all right, I'm going to run my main event first, see how that goes and do the rest of the show. No, because now in Universe mode, if something happens early in your show, it could actually affect something taking place later on in your show. So things have to be played out in order. Also, before in Universe mode, you would enter a match, they do the entrances, and then it would pause and say, do you want to participate and who do you want to be? Well, before you get into the match, once you click play, it'll say, okay, do you want to participate? Who do you want to be? It'll show the matchup screen. So that is one new thing because they want it to be able to say you want to be one superstar and the other superstar does a breakout on you and they attack you during your entrance. That couldn't have happened before because, you know, you didn't know who you were going to be prior to starting the match. On that same note, more cutscenes have been added to Universe Mode to create a more dynamic and unpredictable show every time you load it up. Universe Mode now allows you to add promos in the middle of your show because they said, what's a wrestling show without a promo? Yeah, you can beat somebody down, but what about a verbal beat down? Also, like I said, with the run-ins and the breakouts at the beginning of your match, you can now have a match set and schedule a run-in and actually pick what part of the match the run-in takes place. But keep in mind, run-ins can happen in any match, especially if one superstar is in a rivalry. Just like in previous universe modes, you will still get the rankings and the news that updates after every show. Now, another big change is there's no more edit universe option. Instead, if there's a screen you're on and something's editable, you'll just click Y or triangle depending on your system and you'll edit it there. So say you're looking at a superstar and you want to edit their attributes or something. Boom, just click it and you'll edit it right there. No more having to say, oh, okay, I'm in this screen here. I see this, but it needs to be tweaked. You don't have to leave that screen, go to the edit universe menu and edit it from there. It's just to make everything flow easier and quicker editing. Superstars can be edited and customized as far as their skills, their attributes, their personality, enemies and allies, the championships they're ranked for, how the crowd responds to them, and the attire you want them to wear. Also like in the past, tag teams can be customized. You can add or take out members at any time and turn them from face to heel. Also, the championship menu has changed a little bit as far as when you see the rankings. Now, if you would like to edit the rankings and say move somebody from second to third or third to fourth or whatever, 
you now have the option to edit your rankings and that can make things a little more interesting as far as how your show gets laid out before you actually do the editing. They did say that with Universe Mode this year, like I said, they wanted to add in the draft feature. They couldn't, so they tried as good as they could to have everybody affiliated with the show they were drafted to. So Heath Slater, for example, here, he's affiliated with SmackDown. So there we go. But they did say that if you want to do SmackDown and Raw like they have it right now, it's very easy to set it up and run it and have your two separate shows and create the custom and special pay-per-views, you know, use the logo importer to get the new Backlash logo and this and that. So it's going to be with the logo importer and, you know, custom championships and all this, it's going to be very easy to create the new Raw, create the new SmackDown, get everything in there like it is now in real life. And there we go. Universe mode. It's way more robust. It sounds like there's a lot of ways to make this great for us YouTube creators. Like, I feel like I might start a universe mode. I might let it go, do one show a week, do the pay-per-views once a month. This is going to be fun and very interesting. I am I know if I'm interested in this universe mode, a lot of you are interested in this universe mode. And a lot of you creators out there are going to use this universe mode on your channels. I can only imagine the kinds of things we're going to see with this new the more cut scenes, the more editability in the shows, adding promos to your shows. This new universe mode is gonna rock. If any more news does come up on WWE 2K17 dropping October 11th, we will bring it to you on Pro Wrestling Unlimited.